Hi guys, uh, so welcome back uh, to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to be unboxing, doing a review of the Stalogy notebook, A5, uh, A5 notebook. So I'm gonna try to say um, less times in this video because I know it was really irritating in the last video. I apologize. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into this. So if you didn't see my last video, I'm currently looking for another journal slash, I, I don't like the word diary, but I guess diary, um, to add to my current lineup, which I'm currently using a Hobonichi Cousin, which is a five and a Hobonichi notebook, which is an A6. Um, but like I said, I need something that I could use or write in that does not necessarily fit into any of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these to the, get these out of the way. Um, you may have noticed in my, or saw my last video where I went over the Midori Codex so I'm going to do a slight com comparison between the Stalogy to the Midori and also with the Cousin. All right. So this just came in today again. Um, and I think I've said um like twice now. This came in today and I have not opened it yet. So this is going to be my first, I guess, kind of reaction to the to the book. To this allergy i've watched a lot of videos on this and i'm i think i know kind of what to expect but it's very different you know watching videos and actually having it having it in your hands so let's just go ahead and get this opened which it just came in this plastic wrap All right, so let's get this off. Now, I'm not crazy about this color. I'm not crazy about any of their colors, to be honest with you. But, yeah. So, I don't know. It feels, it feels, it's thinner than what I expected. Um, I'll, I'll put the the details of the book in the description, but it's thinner. Um, let's see. This is the codex. It's definitely thinner than the codex. Now the codex is brand new, so this is as flat as it's ever going to be. Uh, so I guess that's kind of a good thing that it's not as chunky and I'm assuming it's just because of the thinness of the paper, but let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, before we do that. So this says, if you can see that st uh, stationary standard and technology, which I guess that's how they get their name Stalogy. And it also says what, sh what should have been is okay. Stalogy. So this paper is like a card, you know, thicker, like a cardstock. Um, it's kind of tight. Uh, but anyway, oop, well, I think that's backwards. No. Well, that was right. Okay. Um, so we got the first page. Oh my gosh, this is so small. They weren't kidding. All the videos were like, oh, it's so small. You're barely going to be able to see it. They were not lying. But up in the corner, it has all the months beneath that. And I hope you can see that. Um, beneath that is the days of the week, Monday through Sunday. And then the numbers 1 through 31. All the videos I watch, no one ever talks about, well, where's the year? Well, there's no spot for the year. Or there's, I guess you could just write it anywhere if you wanted because it's undated. So whenever you want to use this. 
Um, okay, so... So... The left side, which you can barely see it. Okay, I'm already not liking this book. <laughs> but on the left side, it's there's numbers 1 through 24 along here, which is really small. So you may not even be able to see it. It's a grid paper, which I like. And yeah, there's... Let's see. There's 368 pages in here, just like the codex. Um, okay, well, it's not as smooth as the Hobonichi. Paper's thin. It's definitely thinner than the Codex. But. It, I don't know if I'm wrong in this, but. This feels like recycled paper. I'm sure it's not, obviously, but. It ha maybe it's just more texture to it. But anyways, so you got 365 pages. No, 368 pages. Of all the same thing. It. Doesn't lie completely flat. But. It would. It would be fine. Okay. It'd be annoying. I mean I think. You know I sound like a paper snob. Or a journal snob. But. I mean, they have, you can buy clips and things like that. But if you're someone who wants a book that's going to lay completely flat, no matter where you open it up, like you do with the Codex or the Hobonichi Cousin, um, then you may not like this, especially the pages in the back and in the very front. You know, in the middle, it's going to, it's going to lay flatter or lay, um, yeah, flatter easier. I don't know. Um, okay. So that is the Stology book, Rounded Corners. Um, so I don't know if you could hear that, but it it looks to like you know green, not green, but line. You can see like these lines going down. I think you could fit a lot on these pages. Obviously, it's A5. The grid goes down almost to the very bottom and to the very, you know, the edges, which you're getting a lot of use out of the pages because there's not like, you know, these quotes that you can't read or just these random stuff that you don't need to take up the page to keep you from, you know, using or filling the pages. So I like that. Um,. It doesn't feel it's 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 lighter than than I expected. Maybe I don't know. It's it, but it's pretty light. So I guess easy to carry around with you if you if you wanted to or if you do like I do. All right, so let's get the codex because these are the two that I'm considering as to what, what I'm going to add to my lineup. I didn't talk about pricing in the last video regarding the codex, but I guess I can talk about it now. The Stalogy, I believe, was like $18. I don't know if that was any discount or anything, but it was $18. The codex, I think, came to $25, and I think it was on sale. I think normally it was like $30, so this is going to be more expensive. So... You know, obviously the binding is different. Codex again is exposed. You can see the difference in sizes. The difference in color and paper just by that. I hope you can tell. So 
So this one has a spot for you to put your name or, I don't know, some people say your telephone number. Why would you put your telephone? Well, if someone lost it, if you lost it and you want it to get returned, but I don't know. If they find this, they're going to know a lot of information about me. I don't want them to have my telephone number either. Okay, so... Hopefully you can pick, see that enough, see that well enough, but the paper is obviously very different. The Midori, it's that cream color, the Stalogy, it, it mimics more of what the Hobonichi cousin looks like, so it's a you know, whiter paper. Um, this one is rougher. The Stalogy is rougher paper. The Codex is smoother. I'm not crazy about the cream. It's okay, but I'm not crazy about it. I've used a bullet journal, the official bullet journal edition too, and that paper is kind of like this. I think it might even be whiter and that is cream, but... So I do prefer this color, but just the feel of it by itself I don't like this. I don't like the feel of this paper. Uh, especially having them side by side. Uh, the, the, the dates are so small. Like, okay, you could circle it or highlight it, but it's so small anyways. It's, if anything, it's just a waste of space. So you lose a couple, a couple of rolls, uh, rows, maybe two. Because of it, which, okay, I'm nitpicking, I think, a little bit, but, I mean, these are just, it's a review, so. Uh, okay, so I'm definitely leaning towards this one. This one is just a lot thicker, too, and... Um, Here, but that's okay. So yeah, that is the Stalogy notebook. Three hundred and sixty-eight pages. Uh, I believe the GSM, uh, which I'm not quite sure what it stands for, but pretty much tells you how thick or thin the paper is. So obviously the lower the number, the thinner the paper. But I believe this is anywhere between, I don't know. I'll find it and I'll put it up on there. I'm not going to have to say it because I'm not 100% sure. But I do know that the Hobonichi Cousin and even this notebook paper is 52 GSM. So this is more like that paper. It's, it's let's see, let's compare this, th these two. Even though I'm pretty much sure it's not, this is, I'm not going to use this. But anyways, we're here, so let's just do it. So you can see the color of the paper is closer, more similar to each other. But the paper is, it's, it's similar, but not as thin not as smooth you know so now i realize that i'm doing these review videos and i'm not doing a pen test maybe that will come later but i can't even get to a pen test if i don't even want to touch the paper or even use the paper if i don't even like how it feels on my hands I, maybe that's just me so don't, um, you know, maybe, maybe it might work for, for you. Um, it's just the, the texture and the paper itself, it's thinner. So I like that, but because I'm already in my mind, I feel like it reminds me now just of recycled paper. Well, I don't want to use that. So, and I'm not crazy about this up here. At this point, it's so small, it's just unnecessary, I guess. 
but this could definitely serve a purpose. So if you're looking for an A5 thin paper, you know, or you're not worried about it being super smooth or as thin as the Hobonichi Cousin, uh, then this would work. It has, like I said, these numbered for the days of the uh, hours of the day, so it has 24 hours on there, so you, you can schedule your day. Or you can just ignore it completely, and that won't be hard because it's so light. So, no to the Stalogy. I'm not even gonna. So, as of right now, this is, and of course, it would be the more expensive one that I'd, I would like, which means I need to, I would probably need to get another clear cover, which would be the same one that I have on my cousin. Um, but yeah, anyways, that is all. I hope that, I don't know, this was somewhat entertaining for you or if it helps you maybe make a decision on a, a journal that you're looking for, um, hit the like button and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.